see how this goes. Um, gonna show how to do the Mesa hike, skip or early Mesa hike um, here because I haven't really done a, an official tutorial for it and it's probably the hardest pop jump sequence to do. So um, right out the gate, um, I assume that you know what pop jumps are, how to do them and, and all of that. Um, if not, then you can look at it in my runs and you can see how you do it. But it is pretty simple. Um, you kind of see, even just on this video, how you do it. Um, <clears throat> so to start, you can do a climb jump in this particular instance, even though you have the grapple. Um, climb jumps are a bit easier and faster. I mean, just by one menu, or basically. Um, and if you fail the climb jump at first, you can just do a grapple jump. It's grapple pop jump it's not that big of a deal um so yeah um i'll try to go step by step my fingers work super fast in my muscle memory and the timing is can be a little bit quick and you don't want to mess it up or else you free fall into the void so um i'll try to explain it as i go um <clears throat> So, um, yeah, so we'll go on the climb here. We'll start the pop jump. And make sure that we get, there we go, already looks good. So we're gonna go to the right and then to the upright as much as we can. And now we're gonna do pop jumps to the right until the screen doesn't move anymore after you change order. So right here, you'll see the screen drop down which means that we're still on solid ground. So keep going to the right. There's actually going to be a hearts drop here in a second. It'll bring us way down. Not yet. There we go. So now we're going to keep going right until the menu doesn't move at all anymore. And that means that we know we're void jumping, which means that we can get infinite height as long as we are um, don't touch any more ground in the air. Or <laughs> It's hard to explain, but... Uh, if you change order and there's solid ground beneath you, all your characters will fall down to the ground at that point and continue the pop jump, but you won't gain any height. So in order to gain height, we need to go to a place that we're void jumping, as I call it, where on the out of bounds of this map, there's no more solid ground on the ground. And so the game doesn't know what to do, so it kind of just leaves you there in midair. And if you move to the right, you know, up, left, you're, you're still... Um, pop jumping except you're at that point in the air now rather than on the ground just continually moving um, it'll make sense after a while so what we're going to do we're going to go all the way to the right until we're void jumping and then once we know we're void, uh, void jumping um, go right one more time and then I like to do three void jumps up and then what you're going to do is alternate void jumps left and right to gain height until you get to a point where um, until you get to a point where the screen starts to turn purple and I'll show you how that is and then once you do that um, you'll want to make sure that at some point you do two void jumps to the left so that pops you back in bounds and gets you enough height to, to, to run left so I can't remember if I just did a void jump I, I think it'll okay so yeah, didn't do a void jump yet. Still no void jump. Still no void jump. And that's not a void jump. It's still the screen still moved, but I know that I'm on the right track. The next one's gonna be a void jump, and I know that. Let's see, the screen didn't move at all, so I went one to the right, left, right, and then I'll go one up, two up, three up. And I think I went left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and I'm on left right now. So as you'll see, nothing's going up anymore. So I don't know exactly where I am because we're doing all of this blind. So to make sure that I know I got enough height, you might be able to do this sooner, but I haven't really played around with it that much to know. But once the screen starts to get this purple uh, tint, I know I've gone high enough and I can 
do my two to the left. Alright, so right, left. Oh, nice. I like the decorations on that. Can I eat it? Yeah, go downstairs to the table. Right, left, right, left. Okay, purple hue. That was a right, so I'm going to do one left, and then I'm going to do another left. And then hold left. And I know I... So it won't show you, but I know I landed. If I if I move my D-pad left and right, back and forth, the camera will start to move back to where my position is. And I know I'm up here. And then, yep. Smooth sailing from there. Um, yeah, sorry for the interrupt with the kids, but, you know, dad life, am I right? So, um, yeah, that's how you do the early Mesa hike. And now you're up here, and you can roll onto Autumn Hills. Um, just note at this point, you will not have the um, day night um, I think it's a bracelet it's been a minute but the thing that will change day to night so some there's one there's one I think puzzle here in Autumn Hills that makes you do it and um, so you have to pop jump around it and, and you can see that in my run and then there's another one in Song Shroom. No, you don't need it there. Um, is that it? There's, I think there's just the one. Oh, and then at the top of the, the hill before the, the leaf monster boss, the tree boss, that you end up skipping, there's a door that you can't access without changing day to night, but what you do is just you rest at the campsite. So, um, yeah, that's early Mesa hike. Um, bye.